What's the future? Uh, let's see, that's a tough one. I'm not sure I am in any position to know that. But I think the future involves an avalanche of images and media that we are not even accustomed to at the present time. So I think the future will involve trying to sort out, kind of prioritize visual and audio and other information. You know, I, I think about that you can get a hard drive with more songs on it than I was able to collect in 10 years or 15 years of collecting record albums, right, or CDs even. And now, in a little hard drive, in invisible formats, you can have this just gigabytes, thousands and thousands of songs. And now with photographs, you can have 60,000 images after a couple of years of shooting. So I think the future will involve some paradigm that involves, it's the greater than equation. I think we're going to have more and more and more. And so I think what the future will involve is a way of discerning what's important out of all of that information. And I think that's going to be the real, the real critical issue is how we figure out what matters to us, how we figure out what's disposable, and how we figure out what's even worth paying attention to. And the implications of that, of course, are how to figure out who's telling the truth, how to figure out what email is a hoax and what email is a rumor that purports itself to be accurate. So I think in all of our lives, we are going to have more and more issues to sort out, things to figure out, and it's going to come because of just too much. We've invited too much into our lives, you know. For years, you, a 4x5 camera wasn't good enough because, gosh, you couldn't shoot a lot. Then a 35 millimeter camera gave you 36. And now we can do unlimited capture in digital. And now we've got to have all these tools to sort it out. And uh, so I think in every aspect of our life, as photographers, as artists, as citizens, as partners, as families, as members of extended communities, the problem is going to be how to say no to some involvement and how to figure out what to say yes to. So that's my view of the future, and that's about as best I can come up with. And I'm Harris Fogel. Thank you.